right guys so i got a lot of questions over the years about how to quote projects how much do we charge for doing crown baseboard wains coating etc and the the question is really hard to answer it's really job specific so what i'm doing i'm doing an actual estimate today for a customer i'm not going to reveal their identity obviously just for confidentiality reasons it's none of anyone's business anyways but i'm just going to build their quote and use my name so I'll go to create a new customer and I'll type in my name and this is how I do it for everyone I'll put my email you would just be putting the person's email who you're quoting obviously and this stuff is very important putting all this information in here because if you ever like lose their number and you need to call them then you have it all documented here or like if I'm running late to a job or something like we hit traffic I'll just pull uh, this up and call them and be like hey we're running late just want to let you know or text them usually I'll just text them so we'll go to billing and we'll just put one two three fake street which whoa there actually is one in China we'll use the one in uh Pennsylvania though okay so got my information here this is gonna be billed to Richard McMurray at 123 fake hollow road in Pennsylvania information if I need to call him invoice invoice 34 started over for 2017 so here's what I'm gonna do I use this waveapps.com for my invoicing. I don't use QuickBooks anymore. I did in the very beginning, but unfortunately I upgraded my Mac and it was like showing a little icon that says, this is no longer available with your version of Mac. And I paid $500 for that QuickBooks and just like that, they just screwed me over with that. That's crappy. That's but that's how they make their money so whatever so I went and I just found this place called waveapps.com completely free invoicing software way better looking than QuickBooks could ever be and it's all saved on their database so if your computer crashes or something like that you still got everything and I'm using the free plan and I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever now I'm creating a quote but you'll see here it says new invoice that <clears throat> is because I like the invoice template better than the quote and I edit mine to say that it's a quote not an invoice so the customer can see that this isn't final yet this is just a quote so I'll go first thing I'll do is go add item and I always create a new item and for example in this particular house I'm quoting crown molding baseboard doors and I think that's it yeah I believe that's it so what I'll do is I'll separate it by rooms so the first room I measured when I was there was the master bedroom then I'll enter an item description I'm going to be using the three and five eighth inch colonial crown and you can put your materials that you're going to use here so there's no question about what is being used and I actually like to put this in all caps for some reason I don't know it just feels better colonial so it's just bold they could see like hey this is what he's using there's no question so three and five eighths inch colonial crown molding yes molding is spelled with a U that's the material that I'm using now under that I'm going to put the service so I'll put service and actually to make this better what I usually do is put material they're gonna see that I'm using that and the service is going to be I'm going to supply it that means I'm buying it I'm going to install it that means I'm going to install it I'm going to prep it I do like to put that in there so they can see that this is something that is we're doing 
a lot of people think you just put trim in and then paint it, but no, you have to prep it, which is the caulking, the nail filling, all that takes time. I want them to see like there's a, that portion of the job that takes place. Supplied, install, prep, and paint. And that's what I'll usually, um, that, that's, I mean, seriously, this is how basic it is to quote crown. So then I'll put my quantity. This is how many, how much linear footage is in that master bedroom. So let me see. I'm looking at my notes here and that room is actually 60 linear feet. Now for that three and five eighths colonial crown molding for me to supply it and do everything. I'm going to do that for $6 a linear foot. So that's going to bring the grand total for that room to $360. Now, the cool thing about doing crown and how easy that is to quote, and it's the same thing with wainscoting and base. You just got to be more descriptive in what you're going to do here. And not only does it protect you, it protects it protects them, you know. They're going to get to see like, "Hey, this is what he's doing. I know what I'm paying for." If you are more descriptive here, I think you're more likely to get jobs because it's just people see like, wow, that's there's a lot of work that goes into that. And it's not deceptive. There really is a lot of work that goes into it. It's just making people understand that is another thing. So then I did, I measured the hallway after that. So let's go. I'm trying to type this with one hand because I'm holding a microphone. So then I'll just copy this and I'll paste it right here. Material, same material, same everything. I'll just change the linear footage of this one. This was a small hallway, 28 times six. So we got 168 for the hallway, 360 for that. And I down here, it's gonna keep adding up the grand total that's due on the quote. And the reason I like to do break it down by room, like master bedroom, hallway, and not just give them one big amount is because a lot of times we're working in like really big houses and we may do like half the house and come back and do the other half like months later. So it's convenient for both parties. We can bust out like half the house, get that done, come back in a few months when they're ready. You know, maybe they got a budget they're working with we can do the other half I have no issues with that I kind of like doing it that way so then I went into the bedroom and copy and paste or just paste still quoting the same crown so I only have to type that one time it's really not a lot of work and the bedroom was 44 linear feet typical bedroom typical house then I went into, uh, let's see here. Then I went into another bedroom. Whoops, make that a capital. That's one thing that's gonna be important is that things are legit using that stuff you learned in school. Capitalization, punctuation. It sounds basic, but man, it goes a long way. And that room was the same exact size, so six. So now we're up to, we got one, two, three, four bedrooms of crown, and we're at 1056 for a total. So we're going to the kitchen next. Kitchen, same material, I'll paste that. How much linear feet was in there, so. I think that was 67 linear feet. It was kind of like a galley kitchen, like that hallway kind. So there we go, 402. And then this is not a big house. I mean, this is really a small house that I measured yesterday. And I went into the um, living room after that. Oh, let's go create. Let's create a new item. Living room. Paste that. How much linear footage was in there? It was going to be 
62. Oh, whoops. It's going to be 62 times 6. So 372. So that's an example of how I do my crown molding. Quote. I just tell them what room it is, what material, and what service I'm doing. Bam, bam, bam. They can see it all. And let's preview this document, how it's going to look when it gets to them. So up here it says, quote, it says, thank you for allowing us to quote your project. We look forward to working with you. DFW Crown Molding, Dallas, Fort Worth. This logo that I created over the holiday season, which I'm really happy with, looks really clean. Did that on Inkscape, another free program. And dude, the things you can do with free programs, like, it's crazy. Like, I made this logo on a free program. I'm building this quote on a free program. It's so cool. And this is invoice number 34. They see the date. They see the amount due right here, 1830. And they see, all right, yep, we told them to do the master. We told them to do the hallway. Bam, bam, bam. All right, well, let's go ahead and let's call them up. Let's email them back and let's go with the master and the bedrooms. But you know what? Let's hold off on the hallway and kitchen. So if they do that, I can just go back up here to edit and I can just hit this little trash can icon and get rid of the hallway and it'll bring them up a new total. So this program is really easy. Now, if I wanted to quote like a wainscoting project, this is not real. This is just for the sake of the video. They didn't ask me to do this, so I'm going to delete this. We'll say dining room because that's where most wainscotings are done, in the dining room. We'll say um, 47 feet of 42 inch high. Well, let me get to all caps high recessed panel wainscoting 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 whatever you want to say so then that's the main idea of that that and this one I'll do a little bit different I'll say the main like what it is and then I'll do material so it, materials and then I'll list all of it out so it's gonna be a 1 by 8 bottom rail a 1 by <coughs> excuse me 1 by 6 top rail a 1 by 4 vertical I can spell that right. Vertical style. A two and a half. Two and half inch. FJ. FJ is finger joint. I like to dictate, and that's what I should have done here. I usually do like MDF so they know. Like if I show up, some people just hate MDF, man. <laughs> if I show up with MDF, they're going to be upset and I'll have to go back. I never have had to do that because I explained to them, um, you know, what materials I'm using. And it's most people are okay with it, but some people don't like it. Understood. I understand everyone's different. So two and a half inch chair rail. And I'll, I'll usually dictate what chair rail that is. And I'll use my supplier here in town. We'll say RM7. That's the code for that chair rail. So there's no question about it. And that's going to be FJP. Finger joint pine. If they have any questions about this quote, they can email me. Hey, Richard, what is FJP RM7? I'll say, well, sir, that is the code for that particular chair rail, RM7, it's a two and a half inch chair rail, and FJP stands for finger joint pine. So it's not MDF, it's a finger joint pine molding, sir. And just like that, I'm I'm taken care of, he's taken care of, we're all on the same page. And I'll use a, 
three quarter inch shoe mold cap that will be for the top of the wainscoting and then I'll go on to explain everything I'm not gonna do that because it's I just don't want to do that right now I'll go on to explain like what we're gonna do how we're gonna spray it everything so they see like whoa this is some serious stuff so what I'll do here now is I'll type that 47 in and then there's 47 linear feet and for that style of wainscoting I would usually do like $55 per linear foot there's a lot of work that goes into that there's a lot of materials that go into that price so and I'm not doing that alone so it may seem like a lot but I mean there's still a good profit in that but there's a lot of work that goes into that it's a built on site you spray it you you prime it everything's pocket hold I mean it's legit stuff it's locked tight it onto the wall so that's basically it and then like if I was gonna do a door I would just say most doors are pretty much the same price so let's just do this this is a pretty common thing let's do common whoops common areas like if I got a big area that's continuous like a living room kitchen where baseboard all runs together I'll just label that common areas so I don't have to separate it because it's not like they would separate it anyways because they got to do it all at once so common areas then let's do uh, let's just say just to make this easy let's wrap up this video I'm gonna say let's say solid core inch and three-eighths one and three-eighth inch um, let's do the shaker shaker door it's like that five panel looking one and I'll be more detailed on that but let's say that they've got like 19 doors which is pretty typical so for me I'm gonna do those at about 275 per door and that would be the door itself painted hardware and installed so that's what they'd be looking at with that and I will adjust this and figure out what I need to change on it it's really job specific that's why not one quote is ever the same when it comes to crown pretty much all the quotes are the same but doors are a little bit different there's some finessing that goes into that so hopefully that answers a lot of people's questions about how to make an invoice I know a lot of people already know this stuff but people have been asking me and these prices are realistic I mean this is real this is the real deal right here I mean if I was quoting you and you had all this stuff you wanted 19 doors dining room of wainscoting these rooms of crown molding this isn't this is actually what I would quote you so I hope you guys appreciate this insight in me sharing this information with you and yeah I will see you guys on the next video take care